<laughs> oh, anyways, you know what? It feels very much uh, like uh, the winter season as we are uh, talking about some really cold, cold conditions. And we're approaching our earliest sunset. Typically happens right around December 8th when that sunset's at 411 today. It's going to be at 412. I mean, a minute difference. Sunrise is at 658. We're going to be approaching that 7 o'clock sunrise soon. And January 3rd, that's our latest sunrise, 714. So daylight definitely shrinking. But it is going to be clear for the start of your Wednesday. It's just going to be really cold, too. 25 in Boston. We are in the teens north and west, even in Taunton, 18 degrees. The wind, it is much lighter. That's good news because we won't really have uh, that really drastic wind chill. But it will be, um, you know, adding to the chill a bit by shaving about 5 degrees off of these temperatures for the afternoon. Highs only in the 30s today. Winds will be light out of the north-northeast, as I mentioned. But as they turn on shore, that may enhance the cloud cover across the south east and may even allow for a few flurries. Don't be surprised, but not expecting to amount to too much. As we start with sunshine, clouds will be increasing as the day goes on, so be aware of that, and that may also make it feel a little bit colder out there. But again, it's going to be along the south shore of the Cape and Islands where we could see a few flurries with that onshore wind. Tonight, gradual clearing as we'll see temperatures bottom out once again in the 20s. Winds will be light and variable. Could see a few teens peppered north and west. And tomorrow, temperatures will actually should be a little bit better, but still well below the average. Close to 40 degrees as winds turn out of the west-southwest. And once again, clouds arrive late. So 40s across the southeast, 30s to the northwest. There will be a front that will be approaching from the west. And there are some scattered snow showers along it. As it pushes into our area, a lot of the moisture sort of becomes starved. And we'll just see perhaps a few flurries Thursday night into Friday. But then the cold air moves in. We're talking temperatures below freezing for your Saturday and by Sunday, mid-30s. Looking dry right now. But we are tracking a weak disturbance across central northern New England could allow for a few flurries over the weekend. But this is our storm system that we're watching very closely. And there are some indications it could get closer as we head into early next week. But still right now, high pressure, if it stays in control, it will help shift it to the south. So something we're monitoring, we're not counting it out yet, but right now I am keeping a dry and cold forecast as we go from the weekend into early next week. Brianna? Sarah?